We've got the weekend ahead of us, the Grizz game and some snow to talk about, but our daybreak drawing is first up in this forecast. Here is our daybreak drawing from Dylan, a second grader at Hellgate Elementary. We've got the Mount Jumbo and Mount Sentinel in the background there, a beautiful sunset. I love the coloring back here and I love these clouds. Those are some pretty cool. They uh, look like cumulus clouds to me. Nice job, Dylan. We aren't looking this sunny though or this beautiful this weekend, but we are looking beautiful with some snow. So let's talk a little bit about that. First, I want to get you ready for the roads or maybe you've got flights this weekend. Maybe you're still enjoying some holiday fun. We do have a winter weather travel hazard just in general. I would say with the roads, especially at the mountain pass level, the L passes as always look at Lolo and Lost Trail. A lot of eastern Montana is not getting the system. I would say even across the divide, they're not getting quite as much as what we're getting just yet. So it does look like most of the issues will be for us this weekend, but even that Valley roads in addition to the mountain roads could be slick and snowy on and off. Now snow totals. I know everyone likes to see just how much we're going to get. I looked at each weather model. There are quite a few couldn't get to all of them, but most of them are saying at least an inch one to three inches looks to be the right number for most valleys. And this is as far as I can take you through Saturday evening with the snow totals. Northwest corner, maybe a little bit more for places like Troy and then the Montana Idaho border could see quite a bit as well. Outside of this though, mountains are obviously going to get more, but we could get the most, I would say Sunday. So through Saturday, we're talking sort of light dustings of snow. I would still call them storms though, because we've got Arctic air moving in and they could just definitely impact roads throughout the weekend. The first storm check, that's our first out of four in the next seven days. Remaining this morning is some scattered snow. The next one is tonight through Saturday morning. The third one is Saturday evening through Sunday. And again, I would reiterate Sunday looks to be the worst day for us. I would say travel wise because we've got that Arctic air plus maybe some good chances for snow next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, more good chances. Quick look at the future track for you. you can see kind of a break today, but I would say one place the Sealy and Swan Lake Valley could see it through today. It's going to be slick there this morning and I would say through the weekend, but temperatures will drop a little bit Sunday. They drop even more Thursday next week. We've just got a lot of winter weather systems headed our way over the next several days and some Arctic air is headed our way to Western Montana as well.